Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm one of the flight instructors here in the Pilot Information Center. Victor was telling me you had some questions regarding flying clubs. Yes, we've got a nice little airport that we'd like to support and we'd like to build the general aviation community here. There are several individuals who are interested in learning to fly, but we don't have an instructor and we don't have an aircraft on the field that is appropriate. So we're thinking about forming a flying club so that we can uh, purchase and manage uh, an aircraft that would do that job. Just trying to think through the think through the the structure and then figure out how to proceed to put um, you know articles of incorporation and bylaws and that sort of thing together. Thousands of pilots worldwide have found an outlet for their passion for flight through a local flying club. With over 600 organizations in the United States, there are many opportunities to become a member at an already existing flying club. While many pilots seek a flying club for the financial benefits, it is the community and sense of camaraderie that make their membership special. Studies have shown that pilots that become members in flying clubs remain much more active in aviation as a result of the peer support found in the club. Most clubs even allow members to take primary flight training in the club aircraft, while almost all flying clubs allow and even promote advanced and recurrent training. You may not even have to look outside of the club membership to find a certified flight instructor. If you are interested in starting your own club, there are some things you should consider, including what is the mission of the club, how large would you like it to be, what type of aircraft would you like to feature, and how will you legally structure the club. Most clubs will either be a corporation, an unincorporated association, or a limited liability company. A detailed description of each type of organization can be found in the AOPA Guide to Flying Clubs, available on our website, aopa.org. While there are advantages and benefits to each, the laws in your state will determine which type of organization will best suit your club. We recommend that you seek the assistance of qualified legal and accounting professionals to advise you through this phase of setting up your flying club. I'm Brenda Tibbs, the Flying Club Specialist in the Pilot Information Center. If you have any aviation-related questions, you can give us a call at 1-800-USA-AOPA. This video on starting a flying club is brought to you by AOPA Insurance Services.